Hi, welcome. You must be our applicant. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Dr. Nick. I'll be doing your uh, Airman medical examination today. Uh, I'd say normally coming to the doctor isn't very exciting, but seeing as this is the first big step for you getting your pilot's license, I'd say that is pretty exciting. Uh, just a couple of quick bits of basic information, if you don't mind, before we get started. Uh, if you could verify your full name and last four of your social. We'll go over these and then uh, I'll, I'll detail everything that uh, we're going to be doing today. Uh, and then your current address and phone number. Yeah, okay, if we have that. Uh, and verify your date of birth, please. All right, perfect. Uh, oh, looks like we don't have your hair or eye color. And uh, go ahead and let me let me see your eyes. Oh, you have beautiful eyes. Okay, uh, and your occupation. Degenerate. Oh, you're gambling to pay your way through flight school. All right. <laughs> uh, have you been denied um, an FAA medical examination before? No. Okay, great. Uh, do you wear contact lenses, glasses, any corrective lens? Okay. Uh, and then lastly, have you had any visits to any health professionals in the past three years? Okay, what were they for? Uh, let, I'll add other than checkups and uh, standard dental procedures. When was that? Okay. And that was for... Okay. Um, great, I think that is all I need there. Uh, so basically, a third class medical exam, it's a super simple process. Uh, this required, uh, have you done any flying so far? Okay, yeah, uh, I would be super excited to begin my journey as well. I remember back when I was 15, waiting for my 16th birthday to solo. Uh, so basically, a third class medical exam is almost like a cross, um, I think of how to explain it between a cranial nerve exam and just a standard checkup. Um, of course, as you move into your second and first class for your commercial and airline transport pilot's license, they become a little bit more um, in depth. Um, but today is pretty simple, so I'm going to overview everything uh, for the most part in order uh, that we are going to do today. It'll be, you know, pretty quick in and out, less than an hour, and we'll have you out of here. Um, so, after I explain the entire process, uh, looks like I have all of your paperwork. Um, we missed an aeromedical examination in there somewhere. Um, so I'm just going to ask you the questions for the brief aeromed exam. Uh, it's about 42 just quick yes or no questions about past medical history. Uh, then we're going to check your visual acuity in either eye. Um, make sure that your orbital lobe is working properly. Ocular lobe? Listen, I'm an FAA medical examiner. I don't really know a whole lot. Um, I'm not a neurosurgeon. Um, after that, we're going to go over any color deficiencies. We're going to look for red-green color blindness. Um, a quick hearing test. It's nothing to be worried about. Uh, it's there's this is a temporary office. It's I'm a traveling AME, uh, and so there's no crazy equipment or anything like that. Basically, I'm gonna uh, say a couple sentences, soft spoken and whispered on both your left and right side. Your job is to identify what I'm saying and in which ear. Uh, and then we have a medium register and a high frequency tuning fork to test your frequency uh, auditory range on either side. Okay, so that's pretty simple. It'll be the easiest hearing test you've ever had, believe me. 
Uh, then we're going to check your reflexes, motor skills, uh, pupillary light response, uh, and then I think they talk to you at the front. But if you uh, were you able to complete a urine sample, okay, that's completely fine. We can wait till the very end, or if at any point today you think that you can provide a urine sample, let me know. We can stop and you can go do that. No, it's not a drug test. Why have you been? Uh, have you been doing any illicit substances? <laughs> I hope not. No, it's basically, uh, it's just checking uh, some enzyme levels and some things like that to see if there's any markers for um, any anything that may medically disqualify you from becoming a pilot. Okay, it's, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty light exam. Uh, and then we're going to do some paperwork and hopefully issue you your medical certificate. Sounds good. All right, perfect. Uh, let's just take a look here. Um, so actually, before we start off, I'm going to go ahead and take your vitals. As pretty much any medical exam starts, uh, I just have this pulse oximeter. I'm going to uh, turn it on. And if you could give me your right hand, please. Thank you. I'm going to put that on there. And grab this uh, and go with your left arm. save that for later and just get it knocked out. So I'll just come around uh, behind you. And if you could just give me a deep breath in and out, please. Okay, again. Perfect. Just gonna come around to this side. Uh, deep breath in and out, please. Okay, and one more time. Perfect. All right, so So when was the last time you had, uh, I believe it was, okay, it looks like March of last year at your primary care physician. Uh, so have any of these occurred to you since then? Uh, have you been hospitalized, injured, 
medically disqualified for flying for any reason. Um, we'll go over your medication use here real quickly. Um, have you been prescribed any over-the-counter medications? Um, I'm sorry, prescribed any medication or use any over-the-counter. Okay. That is perfect. Have you had any surgery? Shortness of breath with exercise. High blood pressure, uh, not today, clearly. No rapid or irregular heartbeat. Okay. Chest pain or pressure, yes or no? Good. Uh, dizziness or balance problems, yes or no? Okay, perfect. Headaches or migraines? Okay, and uh, Eddie, any head injuries? You're not lying, are you? No, your noggin looks good to go. Uh, any numbness or tingling in your limbs? No, left arm feels good. Right arm. Okay, perfect. Uh, any air sea or car sickness? Decompression sickness? Uh, any fits of seizures? Hoarseness, allergies, hay fever, hearing loss, or ringing in the ears, or tinnitus. Okay, a significant cough or a sore throat. Okay, tell me a little bit about the sore throat. Okay. Just like a normal cold or the flu sort of thing. Just drainage, perfect, and difficulty swallowing with that. Any vision change, asthma, wheezing, indigestion, um, abdominal pains or cramps, any constipation, diarrhea, um, black, white, or bloody stool, jaundice, hepatitis, uh, yellow skin, any symptoms like that. Okay, a significant change of your appetite, thirst, heat, cold tolerance, uh, your weight, handwriting, any unexplained bruising. Okay, weakness, fever, chills, night sweats, uh, change in size, color, or texture of skin. Any new growth, swollen lymph nodes. Just standard along with that sickness from earlier. Okay, great. Um, any leg or muscle cramp or pain. Joint pain, arthritis, stiffness, anything like that. Back pain, okay, good. Uh, sleeping problems, good. Any irritability, mood swings. Um, change in memory, eating, appetite. Okay, good, perfect. Uh, and then last one, any other symptoms that you think may medically disqualify you from flying? Um, so you can look for a, a full list. The FAA publishes it online. If you also look in the, uh, the FAR AIM and the 14th Code of Federal Regulations, this one's a little bit outdated, uh, the one I keep in the office, but uh, in subpart C of section 57.121, uh, you have subpart C, which uh, details all of the eligibility requirements, vision requirements, um, everything that you need to become a pilot or hold a third class medical certificate. Um, I'm sorry, and that's subpart D, uh, 67301. And you can go in there and read. We'll discover if there's any problems. Uh, but if you ever have any questions, of course, consult your uh, airman medical examiner or you can look in the FAR AIM. All right. Um, so, first, I'm going to check your visual acuity. Just have um, a mobile uh, vision chart with me today, basically. Um, so we'll go both eyes first. Going to hold this at a distance of about six feet. Sorry about the glare. Um, actually, that's probably a little. It's probably a little far. Like I told you, these exams are. A lot easier, generally speaking, than uh, some of your other medical exams, especially just a third class, um, when you know I'm 
don't have my own office, you get to cheat a little bit. Uh, can you read that top line? Okay, perfect. Perfect. The next one. Okay, keep going down. Yeah, you want to try that one one more time. Okay, and perfect. I'm just going to look at your pupil size real quick with this pupil gauge. And okay, perfect. Uh, now if you want to go ahead and cover your left eye for me, cover your left eye, uh, and read the lowest line that you can. Okay, yeah, perfect. Uh, and then go ahead and cover your right eye. Perfect. Um, and your, your vision with uh, lenses or, or without just needs to be for your third class uh, correctable to 2040. Uh, your 2030 in your right eye and 2020 in your left eye. Uh, so that is all good there. Uh, next, I'm going to just do a quick color blindness test for any red green color deficiencies. Uh, uh, and then I like to do a practical uh, as well, since I don't have the Ishahara color blindness book with me. Um, so I've got this bottle of uh, secret sauce. And uh, go ahead and tell me what color this is. And this. Okay, go ahead and cover your right eye. This color. This color. Okay, and this color. Perfect. This color. Perfect. You can uncover your eyes. Um, that's pretty much just for fun. Um, there's no need for a, a full Ishihara test. Uh, so that is perfect. No color deficiencies. Um, okay, so next up. Um, we are going to do a hearing test. Um, for this, basically, I'm going to go on both your left and right sides. Uh, I'm going to whisper a phrase, and I'm going to speak a phrase while facing um, some of them. They're going to be faced away from you to see if you can hear even the softest noises, uh, and then some of them are going to be whispered. Um, and we'll do that first and we'll move on to the tuning forks. So I'm going to go ahead and have you uh, just relax and close your eyes. Okay. So the first sentence that we have. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. All right, which side did you hear that in um, more loudly, your left side or your right side? Okay, perfect. We're going to do one more. Popeye's chicken biscuit. Popeye's chicken biscuit. Which side was that? Okay, one more time. Popeye's chicken biscuit. Your right side, yeah, perfect. Uh, all right, keep your eyes closed. Relax, relax. Okay, go, and go ahead and tell me what that word was in addition to which side it was on. Relax, perfect. And then one more word, one more word. Go ahead and keep your eyes closed. Subscribe to Nick's ASMR. Subscribe. Subscribe. What was that one? Yeah, subscribe, like for YouTube. Perfect. You watch YouTube? Yeah. I follow this really great guy, Nick's ASMR. He makes all sorts of uh, flying content, all sorts of stuff. Um, 
I've been watching a lot of him re recently. Um, okay, just looking at uh, your vision test, um, I'm gonna check one thing in your left eye. Uh, so if you could go ahead and cover your right eye. Uh, I just wanna check one thing. So looking at this vision chart, um, I have this little flipper lens here. I'll go ahead and uh, clean that off. And your job is to tell me if it's clear uh, on number one or number two when I flip it around. Uh, so if you'll just look at this chart real quick and just let me know, uh, is it clear with number one or number two? One or number two? One or number two. Okay, go ahead and switch. Go ahead and cover up that right eye for me. Um, and I just want to test that eye as well with a different lens. Uh, is it clear number one or number two? One, two. All right, about the same. Perfect. Um, you were, you were right on the edge. Well, not right on the edge, uh, but since your eyes are in balance, I just wanted to take a look, kind of get a rough estimate of a prescription, see if it would be a problem. Um, we may end up referring you to an optometrist just to make sure it's not going to become a long-term issue. Your vision for now is uh, more than acceptable to get your third-class medical certificate today. Uh, so that is good to know. Next up, I'm going to test your uh, reflexes and uh, do a couple of different response uh, things. Push, pull my hands and, and things. You'll you'll see in a second. It's uh, relatively easy. Uh, first, I'm going to uh, glove up just because I'm going to be nice and close to you. Um, there's kind of some sickness going around. So... Uh, just as a precaution, but no, well, that's a ripped glove. Uh, but this exam doesn't actually require gloves. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, I've been flying for about six years, seven years. How old am I? I don't know. It's hard to tell sometimes. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to go over here real quick and check something out. Um, we have been standing for, uh, for a while. I remember my first ever medical exam for my, for my third class as well. Alright, perfect. Uh, so I'm just going to take this hammer, um, and it, it's easy, it's a soft rubber mallet. It's not too hard, it's not gonna hurt or anything like that. Uh, but just keep your legs nice and loose. Um, I'm going to hit just in front of your kneecap and test your reflexes for both legs. Just go ahead and look straight forward for me. It doesn't really matter, uh, but just uh, just look straight ahead. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap your knee here. Watch it there, killer. And then on your uh, on your left side. Okay, perfect. And going back to the left side one more time. Okay. Uh, so your reflexes and your legs they actually respond a little bit differently. Um, just barely. It's nothing to be concerned about. Okay, perfect. Now, I uh, grab my finger and pull towards you. Perfect. One more time with your other hand. Great. Now, grab my. Actually, go ahead and cross your hands for me. And grab my fingers. Yep, crossed. And go ahead and pull. Pull. 
All right, now, um, don't let me pull my fingers away from me. Ready? Good. Good. Um, arms like this for me. All right, so I'm going to come out uh, on the outside of your arms. I want you to keep me from pushing them in, so push outward like this as I push in. Perfect. Yep, don't let me push it in. Perfect. And then same thing, I'm just going to put my hands on the inside and keep me from pulling your arms out. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, push up on my hands. And push, uh, push down on my hands. Perfect. super easy. Um, uh, do you have an instructor yet? Just out of curiosity. Yeah. Yeah, I've heard great things. Uh, you're going to love them. Yeah, perfect. You, uh, I can't remember. Did you say you had your first flight yet? Oh, yeah? Nice. Flew with a friend a couple months ago. Name's Nick. <laughs> me too. Uh, I told you that. Anyway, sorry, let me get you out of here. Um, okay, perfect. So, uh, next thing, I'm going to have you follow the tip of my pen. Okay. Yeah, so keep your head straight. Uh, just straight forward and follow the tip of my pen, okay? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I guess I should have specified. All right, here we go. Good. Good. Perfect. All right, perfect. Good. Mm -hmm. Now follow, it's going to go up or down, up or down. Good. Perfect. And then now uh, it's going to go in and out. I'm going to use both my finger and the tip of the pen. Uh, you follow the tip of my pen, not my finger. Good. Good. Perfect. Perfect. Good. Alright, I'm going to shine this light in your eye from over here. Don't pay any attention to the light. Just keep following the tip of that pen. Alright. Good. Perfect. Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep, perfect. Just keep following.
keeps looking right at my nose. Okay, perfect. Uh, now, lastly, I would just want you to follow this light. I'm going to go ahead and dim the uh, lights over here, if you'll just give me one moment. So just like I said, I'm just going to have you follow this light, okay? Good, 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 good. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, very good. All right, perfect. Look straight at my nose again. Tell me when the light goes out of your vision. Good. 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 Keep looking straight ahead. Perfect. Perfect. Good. And good. All righty. So everything looks perfect there. Your pupil your light response is great. Your vision's great. Hearing um, it reflexes, everything is good there. Um, the last thing I forgot to do earlier with your hearing, looking at the paperwork now, is gonna be that high and low frequency test on either side. It'll be just really quick um, with the tuning fork. So if you would go ahead and close your eyes for me. Just tell me if this is on your left or right side um, and when you start to hear it, okay? Okay, so initially uh, you're gonna hear it start when I hit it against my hand, uh, but let me know when it starts to get close to your ear, okay? Keep your eyes closed. Just let me know when it stops. Okay, perfect. Keep your eyes closed one more time. Left or right? Left, good. And tell me when it stops. Perfect. Um, just keep your, keep your eyes closed. We're just going to keep repeating this a couple more times. side good and when it stops perfect yep high pitch on your left side and stops then perfect left side all right perfect Finishing up a couple of things on your paperwork. Uh, take a look at your inoculations. You had hepatitis A and B, uh, polio virus, measles, mumps, uh, the COVID 19. Uh, for your COVID 19 vaccine, did you have which one was it? The Moderna. Okay, perfect. Looks like you had a hundred milligram, no, 0.5 milliliters. Okay, great. And then the uh, injectable. Okay. So um, we are going to fortunately be able to issue you your third class medical certificate today. I'll put some hand, hand, hand sanitizer on and I'll be the first to congratulate you. Yeah, it's very exciting. Uh, I wish you the best of luck in your aviation career. Uh, if you'll just go wait out in the lobby for a couple of minutes, there is that water cooler uh, and you'll be able to drink, hopefully produce that urine sample sometime today so we can finish writing your paperwork. Uh, but we'll do that. They'll take you back to the lab uh, and then have your medical certificate waiting for you at the front desk. Uh, any questions for me?
All right. Well, again, it's been my absolute pleasure. Uh, come see me when it's time for your second class exam. Uh, I also do family care, so if you uh, uh, if you need a physician as well, I'm your man.